Hey there, guys. Today I'll be bringing you a video of something slightly different. So I figured that I would do a review of a plane in Infinite Flight. So as you can see here, I have an ERJ-175. Now, I'm only going to make like a five-episode series tops of just plane reviews in the game. So that way you know what you'll be buying in the game before you actually purchase a plane. Now, I would highly recommend this one. This has a very detailed exterior and interior included. So some of the camera angles we have, we have the typical ones. I don't think there's anything special, just right left wing. You've got the panoramic thing, you've got the tower, and then the cockpit, which I think is the most interesting. Now, there's no major uh, moving parts. You can see, I, I don't even think the throttle moves. No. Flaps, they don't do anything. But it is a very detailed interior, to say the less. Um, there are plenty of things to look at. And if anything, it looks really good at night. Let's see if I can change it. Let's go sunset. I like sunset. It looks beautiful at night with all the colorful gauges. But when we get to flying this thing, I'd say that it handles extremely well. Let me center the camera. We'll set our heading and we'll take off. I have no clue why I've got 37 degrees of flaps. But... I'm just going to gun it. I'm not going to make this any realistic flight or anything. I just want to show you what the plane is like. Now, as you can see from the menu, it has three different liveries. You've got United, there's Delta, and then LOT. And then, of course, you have just the basic um, unmarked livery, which is just plain white. But let's see if we can catch the animation for the gear going up. There we go. quite smooth. Now beyond that, it's just typical engine noise. There's no audio for the game in this video. I'm very sorry about that. I'm not going to invest in any super complicated recording software because I'm not a gamer. But I just think this is an overall great looking plane. Now I'm going to change my controls. Oh, I was on high sensitivity. Strange. Anyway, let's do some aerobatics because that's crazy. We can do this from the exterior and we'll also do it from the interior. And you can get a sense for the field of the view, or field of view. And if anything, I think this is my favorite plane in the game. I also have bought the 777-300ER, 747 and the Raptor. And if anything, this is probably my favorite to fly. I think the 777 is the most detailed of the aircraft that I've bought. But I just think that this is a well- it's a very high maneuverable aircraft that can get up to speeds in time, and it is also very easy to crash. <gasps> oh, I'm so glad I caught that on camera. That was that was pretty impressive. Anyway, we'll uh, try to land this. Let's try to make this as realistic as possible, even though I'm completely not set up for anything even comfortable. Actually, bring my gear out. I'll bring my flaps out. Why not? Let's land on one left. Go on, approach on the south end. Now, the reason that I always like flying um, one left is because I have been on that runway. That is the runway that I took off of in my airport vlog, part two, out of an Alaska 737-400. Registration was N799AS. And I actually have bought an Alaska Airlines book, and that exact plane is in it, which I thought was really cool, because it had the registration, Hey, I've been on that plane! So... Yeah, let's see how let's see how awfully I can land this. Let's just bring full flaps. Spoilers or flight, that'll slow me down a little bit. And let's crash this. Not really, but we probably will end up crashing it. I hope you're enjoying this sort of video content. Of course I'm not going to like I said, make this a pure series. Only gonna be like five episodes. But yeah, we've got a pretty awful approach here. I think that we should uh Maybe screw our brakes. They, in real life, they'd probably burn up. And here we go. Let's arm our spoilers because we can. And snap our wheels off. Perfect. Brakes, reverse thrust. And yes, it does have reverse thrust with animated parts. These spoilers are animated as well. I can show you that. There's off. There's flight. And the flaps retracting. It is one fluid mo er, movement. It's not like the crummy old 787 they have in the game. They really need to fix that. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this sort of different video. I also hope that you will tune in to see more. See ya!